Every time I record a first episode for something, I always think it's the worst first episode I've ever done. Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, welcome back for more of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. Now with 100% less self-confidence! We... spent most of our, well most of my time finding this stupid hero coin. But we finished the first three levels of... I forgot the name of the first world already! Water level, go! Oh man, look at this. I feel like I'm going to be blown away by all the backgrounds just because, of, again, of all the Game Boy games I've played from this series without actually seeing that there's got to be something up there, right? No? Just the visuals and the sound effects and everything just... Whoa, okay. I, I guess we're doing the swimming now. Uh, so that's a gimmick. This is going to be a fun gimmick. Also, if this is anything like the Game Boy counterpart, there are going to be hidden passages and stuff that I'm going to have to be looking out for, like that. I'm not looking forward to that very much. Um, was this one of those warps? Is the end of the level going to be, like, right over there? I found one! Good for me! I'll have to finish one of these levels with Dixie at some point, but I guess we have to go back for everything now. I'd be tempted to look for where those were in the other levels, but I really couldn't be bothered. I really couldn't. So is the water level going to go up on its own, or is it waiting for a trigger point? Like, somewhere where we have to go in order to raise the level. Otherwise it won't. Yeah, we have to go over here for that to happen. So what, besides that, is back here, is what I'm curious about. Because I remember that's where it is, but I also remember there was stuff up here. Is there more stuff up here, or is that the extent of the stuff? Can I... I can go through this box? Why would you want to do that? Interesting. You got the water effects, too. Like, you got a ripple effect underwater on top of all the stuff in the foreground. That's nifty! Wow, they have a lot of details down in this game for a Super Nintendo, I'll tell you why. But then again, so did Super Metroid, so... At what point do I cease being surprised? Probably never. Let's hope it never comes to that point, because I like being pleasantly surprised. Also, you are... Not something I want to run into, and that looks like a secret that I can go down to. Is it? Can I get in that way? Is there a way I can get in there? It looks like it. I want to. Will you grant me access to your beautiful secret? Maybe if I ask loudly enough and don't run into you? Oh, it's a fish. I don't turn into the fish, I actually ride the fish. So can I you have a supercharge? Maybe how did I get in? I can't get out? Um Okay, I can get in, but I can't get out. That's a weird secret. Is it gonna be the same way here? Yeah, it's a one way. Why would they do that? Okay, so you want me to use it here. I don't know why. Uh does it break that? No. Does it break that? I guess it does. Well, that box did look a little bit bigger than the others. So is there any reason not to hold the B button down? I guess... Oh, this is the maze one, isn't it? Looks that way. So bananas are probably not the way I want to go. We have a lot of time for this, which kind of frightens me a little bit. But I'm guessing we're going the right way. If there are a lot of alternate ways for us to go, I'm guessing we're still going the right way. Sure enough. So I have to look out for those big boxes now. Okay, good to know. Can, do I have to go out the way I came? Is did, If I do this again, is Diddy going to be doing like that weird... I thought he was like glitching out over there before. Might have just been me though. So we still have to look out for another bonus in the hero point, assuming that they're still going to stick to their 
two and one dealy, which may or may not actually be true. And you're slowly rising up to meet me, aren't you? Uh, and Guard isn't really that much help out here, is he? Can I get off of him? Okay, I can use that on figures as much. We wouldn't be able to go much farther. Sorry to just leave you sitting there, buddy, but he's not even in the water. He's sitting out of the water. He's probably going to die. I also can't switch partners. Wait, so I can't... I'm standing on a barrel. I can't switch, but up here I can? I'm not sure I understand why they would do that. There's a checkpoint, so hopefully I didn't miss anything. And I get the feeling I'm going to be saying that quite frequently in this project. I hope I didn't miss anything. Also, I can sort of jump out here, but there's nothing there, and that guy's going to corner me if I don't keep moving. I also forgot... Yeah, I was holding the up direction to swim, but apparently you can't just do that. It helps you go faster up, but it doesn't swim you up. So, I thought that would be a secret. That's why I was banking on being able to go in. Well, we lasted... A little over six minutes before dying, I think. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep that up as this LP goes on. Okay, I was switching over to Diddy, and then Diddy got hit before I was able to switch to him. That was productive. I feel like I should be spending more time exploring around, and since that guy is down here, it's probably something worth getting. So do we have secrets... I'm going to be hugging the walls for secrets like I wish I had the X-ray scope. Yeah, that attack hurts you. Good to know. Is it as broken as it was in the Donkey Kong Land 2 game? It wasn't that broken in 3, but it was definitely broken in 2. I'd like to see if I can take advantage of this. Can I go down? I kind of want that. It won't let me go down? I guess it won't let me go down. Also, the jump button is the attack button, too. Okay. That's nifty. Still gotta look out for secrets and stuff. I know this is ex this is clearly the most exciting commentary you've ever heard for this game. You made a little chompy sound! That's cute! Is he coming back? Or do I did I off-screen him by accident? I'm hoping I didn't do that. I'm guessing he's not coming back. I'm also guessing if I was quicker, I would have been able to stay up there and get the hero points. So I'm going to have to do this level over again anyway. That's nice to know. Because everybody loves doing water levels over again. But at least I know that I can start select out once I beat the level once. I'm going to have to finish more levels with Dixie. So I guess I'll go back for that coin. There it is. Got the coin. Screw you, world! One. Eleven minutes in, we've finished one level in World 1. Swankies? Whoa, look at this! It's a game show? Swanky swag? Uh, probably wonky. Oh no, I hit the wrong button! Dang it. Oh, jeez. Name of the area on this island. I think it's Gangplank. Yay, lives! Oh, I can only do it once. Pirate Puzzler. Oh, oh, jeez. See, I have all the bat buttons mapped wrong, so I know that it's not the B button, even though I think it's the B button. First level... I wish it was Picnic. The name of the enemy boss who's kidnapped Donkey Kong. Okay, Rappa the Rappa. Oh, two lives. 
Chimp challenge. Are you kidding? Okay, I guess if we need lives, we can come back. That's interesting. Top sale trouble. Oh, I hope this isn't the one where the poisonous water is chasing us up, because that'll be really annoying. Ratley! So do you function the same way you do? It's not the select button this time. I'm guessing it's the... Oh, this is different music. Yeah, I don't think this music was in the Game Boy version. That's nifty. So this is essentially Spring Mario before Spring Mario existed. Gotcha. Do you jump with me? You jump with me! That's neato. Although, he may be jumping on his own timer, I'm not sure. It's hard to tell. Also, I expected these to be a little bit more rounded. So, how long do I have to hold this down before it's maxed? I guess that even that's not high enough. That works. How long do I have to hold this down before you... Or do I just have to... Okay, so that's that high. If I hold you down for longer, you don't go that much higher. I mean, you do go higher, but not much higher. Do you move faster if I have the run button held? That was a funny noise. Can I get that noise again? That is a silly... They makes the silliest noises that you wouldn't expect these guys to make when you step on them. Somebody's shooting out fireworks now? It's five o'clock in the afternoon! Why is someone firing off fireworks? What the hell is wrong with you? Independence Day was last week! I don't understand other human beings. That's why I'm playing as chimpanzees! Although, I'm not entirely sure what Dixie is. I guess she is. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm guessing it's just enough to do that, right? Wow, that was as easy as I was hoping it would be. So, we've already got the secret up there. Do you jump in a pattern? You do low jump, high jump, right? I gotcha. So you weren't jumping with me, you were jumping with a pattern, and that's to show me that I can do the higher jump. I'm not sure how much of a difference it makes, though. It makes some amount of difference. There's nothing over there, just checking. It's nice and stormy, you have the rain effect and everything, that's nifty. Will I have to remember to come back for that treasure chest? I hope not. I wonder if Radley can kill the Crusher. I'm guessing not. I'm gonna try. He can! That's nice. It's also nifty how they're actually riding the animal friends in this game, whereas before you just transformed into them. So I'm hoping I didn't miss anything, although I'm going to bet that I did. We'll see. I rolled all the... I was supposed to do that?! Of course I knew what I was doing, what are you talking about? Wait, this is the same bonus as before. Uh... Okay, I, I thought I was being smart and found something new and nifty, but I apparently already did it. It would have been cool if it was true and it was actually something new, but I guess it wasn't. Well, it won't take us that much longer to get back up there now that I know where we're going. I wouldn't put... Again, I would not put it past Rare to do that again, because I know them to do that. So I will be looking out for it, I'm just hoping that it doesn't happen frequently. So, no Ratley Zone again. Hit the checkpoint again. And we will not go down this time. Nothing over to the left. Doesn't look it. I have a funny noise that they make, too. Wonder if it's easier for me to jump, or to just roll past you. And... well, you have to jump over. And anything over to the right I should go get? I have the rope to catch me. There's a rope over- oh, there is something over there. Okay, because I knew there was a rope below me, that's why I even bothered to try. Can I grab the rope with Dixie from here? 
I don't know if you if that's a thing you can do. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just too high? It could be. It's dragonfly, nothing up there. Box. Thanks, Box. You were very helpful. Your helpfulness will not be forgotten in the realm of boxes. You have been the most helpful box since boxes were boxed. Do you box boxes? Maybe. Or sometimes you put boxes in boxes, but it's not all that useful. In most cases. Oh. Okay, so that was to indicate... Or maybe I was supposed to get to it from below? I don't know what the deal with that was. I also don't know why there was an awkward silence in that sentence. Oh, this is going to be one of those... My foot! Why my foot? Why? Okay, let's be slightly more careful with this this time, maybe. So you're going to go... It takes a really long time to go across these ropes horizontally. Like, un unusually long to do that. Could you flash the timer any more quickly to make me panic? Please do that! And I do get my Kong friend back. Look at her just staring at the camera all innocently. That's adorable. I saw something over to the right. I think I could float to it from here if I want. Yeah, that's a hero point. And we have more... Oh, rope shenanigans. I mean, this is all stuff that I've seen in the Donkey Kong land. You're going fast. Okay, I didn't intend to finish the level there. I guess it worked. Well, if you're going to make weird jumps that I don't expect you to, as long as they work out in my favor, I'm not really going to mind. Funky's Flights 2? Where was the first one? I guess the first game? Oh my god, the music! I'm guessing there's nowhere else for me to go, so I'll kind of hold off on it for now. And we have Crow's Nest. That's supposed to be a skull! I thought it was... When I was playing Donkey Kong Land 2, I thought that was the guy's beak or something. That's actually a skull. That's slightly scary. Is the boss music different? Sounds like it. Is the mechanic any different, or is it exactly the same? Do you come down and just run into it like an idiot? It's similar enough. I don't know why you would attack me with your own eggs. I guess you don't really care. Don't do anything that would warrant me being frightened of you. Oh. That. Okay, you're gonna be fl Oh, I can go on the other side, too. Okay. You're gonna be doing that again? More eggs, blocks? Do I have to wait for the one that stays on the ground? I guess so. Oh, and it breaks if I don't hit you with it. Maybe I should be slightly less careless. Oh. Okay, so if it falls on top of the egg that I'm holding, it breaks it. That makes sense. It really does. I'm not being sarcastic. That makes sense. And he's dizzied! He has those little stars over his head, too. That's a neat touch. So do you want to come over here so I can jump into... Or those aren't homing in on me, are they? Homing eggs? Are we playing Banjo-Tooie? Can you not hit me with the egg? I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that. So I guess we'll try this again, although there's no real reason to go with Dixie or Diddy at this point. But the cloud effects around the background, it's just so neat and distracting at the same time. Yeah, but someone told me the 
bosses, the boss music that they used for the Game Boy games was taken from the final boss of this game. So I've never actually heard the boss music, the regular boss music for this game. It's nifty, it's fitting, it's like got the pirate feel and everything. Yeah, but he's all dizzied and stuff. That explains why he's just ramming into that and it's falling down. So maybe it'd be easier to throw this at him instead of trying to run into him with it. I don't know why I didn't think to do that. Maybe I'm just feeling lazy. Well, I know I'm feeling lazy, but... I don't know if that's really an excuse. And that didn't hit me? I thought it hit me. So wait for you to come down here again. Is that gonna do it? That was it. Dixie, what are you doing? I guess she's got her own way to fidget and dance. And now we're going on the Crocodile Cauldron. Did I get everything here? I did! I also noticed that this overworld map is mirrored from the Game Boy version. I'm not sure why they did it that way. And now I'm tempted to see if on the overworld that Kremlin signed is also mirrored, or if it still says Kremlin. I don't know why this is something that I'm even the least bit interested in, but regardless, we finished World 1! We'll head to Crocodile Cauldron next time. This is Universal Giant, and I'll see you guys then.